emotion. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? Different cast, but why? Get ready to meet the voices behind the emotions because Inside Out 2 is going through some major changes. But first, let's see who stayed in the franchise, shall we? I didn't touch it. Orange is not my color. Not me. Hello. Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 releases exclusively in theaters on June 14th, 2024. And while we wait for this masterpiece, we thought it would be nice to go through the changes and meet new actors joining the franchise. Inside Out 2 introduces a character we all know too well, but is also missing some amazingly talented actors from the first film. While some actors decided to return and reprise their roles, once you hear how much they are getting paid, you'll realize why they returned, others were however, not satisfied with their paychecks and decided to ditch the opportunity and focus on other roles in their acting careers. These cast changes will undoubtedly have a major influence on the movie. The original film focused on 11-year-old Riley, voiced by Caitlin Diaz, as she faced a lot of challenges and needed to adapt to her parents moving to a new city. The official trailer for the sequel is here and confirms that this will be a direct continuation of the first film. Inside Out 2 introduces a teenage Riley dealing with the a bunch of emotions as she gets into puberty. The sequel will introduce new feelings, but will also include the already familiar ones. When it comes to emotions, the two lead emotions in the first installment were joy and sadness, played by Amy Poehler and Phyllis Smith. Both Amy and Phyllis will return to reprise their roles alongside Louis Black as anger. But some of the other characters went through a big change from the film's original cast ensemble. For instance, we now have Tony Hale as Fear. He is replacing Bill Hatter from the first film. Uh -huh, we did it, gang! It's working! Oh. That's right, everyone. Fear has a new voice. I'll be honest with you, I liked Hatter's voice better. Nevertheless, Tony Hale steps into the role following Bill Hatter's departure from the popular Pixar franchise. It goes without saying that Hatter did an amazing job with the role. It has been confirmed that he is not coming back before the release of the much-anticipated trailer. Hale has previously worked for Disney as he voiced Forky in Toy Story 4. He's also known for his performances in Arrested Development and Veep. Just to be clear, I absolutely absolutely love Tony Hale, but I think Hatter's voice was a better fit for the part. Do you agree? Next, we have Liza LaPera's Disgust. She is replacing Mindy Kaling from the original film. Both Mindy and Liza have done an incredible job in the film industry, as the two actresses have a lot of roles under their belts. However, a lot of fans expressed their disappointment with Liza LaPera taking over the role previously voiced by Mindy because, as they claim, Mindy's voice was the perfect fit for the role. The Office star confirmed that she would not be back for the sequel after Inside Out 2 was officially greenlit by Disney. Shortly after, Disney announced that Liza was joining the cast. Liza LaPira has previously appeared on Cloverfield, 21, Dexter, NCIS, Dollhouse, Unbelievable, Nancy Drew, and The Equalizer TV Show. What do you think? Who's a better fit for the part? For those of you wondering why Mindy and her co-star left the film, a report from Puck News published in 2022 revealed that the both of them were offered just 2% of what Amy's salary was for voicing Joy. As Puck News explained, Amy Poehler is making $5 million plus a additional fees and bonuses, but Disney originally offered the other main cast just $100,000 with no bonuses to return, an insult that was politely declined. Next, we have the brand new character played by an especially talented lady, Maya Hawk as Anxiety. Okay, let's clear it all out. It's demo day! <laughs> That's right, everyone. Anxiety is joining the mix of emotions in Riley's head. The new awkward emotion was introduced in the trailer for the film. The trailer starts with Riley celebrating her 13th birthday, and the next minute, she gets into puberty. This led to a lot of changes at headquarters. We then see all her emotions, joy, fear, disgust, anger, and sadness, wake up in the middle of the night to see Demolition Crew installing a new orange-tinted console. Orange? Joy asks. 
who made the console orange? Maya Hawk has been a rising star following her appearance in Stranger Things, and it looks like she'll serve as one of the protagonists in Inside Out 2. She also appeared in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Fear Street Part 1, Do Revenge, Asteroid City, and Maestro. Anxiety is definitely going to make Riley's life more difficult, not to mention the complicated relationship she's going to have with Joy. Before we explore more of the new voices joining the franchise, make sure you're part of our team by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Why? Because you really don't want to miss an Inside Out update. Keep the conversation going by sharing your thoughts on the new cast and new emotions. That's right, there are going to be new emotions coming together with anxiety. One of them is on Wii. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, you, whoa. Hey, hey, what are you doing? All right, she's all set. Set with what? In the recently posted trailer, viewers can see yet another new emotion moving into Riley's head. Ennui appears as a dark blue character, and Disney has yet to reveal who is going to voice the new addition. Ennui translates to boredom, disinterest, and lack of excitement, a feeling we've all felt at least once back when we were teenagers in puberty. Inside Out 2's poster will feature the character, and based on Ennui's face, the other emotions will have a difficult time with him. However, I don't think Ennui will be as much of a problem as embarrassment. Oh boy. The number of times we all get embarrassed back when we were teens. Embarrassment has stars in her eyes, and based on her facial expression, is scared of being, well, embarrassed. The teal colored emotion is one of the new additions and will certainly have a lot of influence on the plot of the film. Disney has yet to reveal the voice actor to portray this character. The entire cast is expected to be released in the following months. Another emotion joining the franchise is Envy. Envy is another emotion present in the new trailer for Inside Out 2. It appears as a pink character with what looks like sparkly hair. This confirms Riley's going to get jealous. Perhaps Envy will appear when her crush starts dating someone else. That's a valid reason for feeling envious, right? Maybe this feeling will have something to do with sports. What do you guys think? Embarrassment, anxiety, and envy are going to make Riley's life an emotional roller coaster. That's for sure. And yes, Inside Out 2 is definitely going to change everything. Orange? Who made the console orange? Do I look orange? I didn't touch it. Pixar's trailer for the upcoming film confirms that this is a feel-everything movie. The first installment had several emotions, as mentioned before. The lead emotions were joy and sadness, but with the new additions, Riley's mind will be a mess. The trailer for the film ends with the words, the feel-everything movie of 2024. This means there could be more emotions that were not even mentioned in the trailer. Some theories suggest there will be more than 20 emotions in Riley's head, and if that's true, well, prepare for a wild ride. There are, however, some fans wondering why Anxiety, Envy, and Ennui were not present in Riley's parents' head. It only makes sense that they would also feel those emotions once in a while, so why do both of Riley's parents only have the basic emotions? Anger, sadness, joy, disgust, and fear. It really doesn't make any sense, does it? There is no sign of anxiety, ennui, embarrassment, envy, or anyone else. So, the creators will need to think of a fun storyline to include these emotions in other characters' lives. Do you guys have any theory that would explain the absence of these emotions in Riley's parents? Do you think adding more than 10 emotions in Inside Out 2 is a bit much? Do you believe Inside Out deserves to go beyond its first installment? Let us know. And there you have it, a sneak peek into the voices that will be taking the helm of our emotions in Inside Out 2, a cast that promises to bring a fresh perspective to the emotional landscape. If you're as intrigued as sadness on a rainy day, give us a like and share your thoughts on the new cast in the comments below. Stay tuned for more updates. Well, why don't we quit standing around and do something? Like what, genius? Like quitting. That's what I'm doing. This is Joy, coming to you live in Riley's mind. Get on your feet and make some noise! Anger! Let me at him! Fear! Mouth guard, people! Disgust! No, 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 no! That's not ours! Sadness is in the house! Yay. Orange? Who made the console orange? Hello? Ah. Oh my gosh, I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? Only in theaters June 14th.